ladies, today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about ballot boxes. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like a little bit of a ballot box queen because I do put a lot of ballot boxes out right now. I have 12 um, boxes out. Um, and some of the things that I do to get started to put these boxes out. Um, first of all, you don't have to use an actual uh, acrylic box. Um, you can get them. I do get mine like at one of the office places like Office Max, that kind of thing. Um, but a lot of people use like the ballot, uh, little gift bags and stuff that they decorate up so you can have like a ballot box ballot bag or a little fishbowl type thing whatever you can get okay because it can get expensive if you buy those boxes to put out so and if you're just getting started you don't want to spend a lot of money okay um, because the whole idea is to get the spas to make the money um, so basically what I do is I get my boxes ready um, and on the top of it I you know put um, uh, I'll have Kelly put it on the website exactly what I have on there but it says you know need a little pampering um, you know enter to win a spa for you and up to eight of your friends kind of thing and then um, I also have on there you know a few of the treatments that they're going to get also offer a ten dollar gift certificate back to the establishment that that box is in so that way it works for the establishment and for me it's kind of a win-win for both of us so before I go out and actually start doing ballot boxes um, what I do is I start kind of thinking of some of the different places I want to go um, some of the different types of you know do you want to go to like salons or do you want to go to you know um, uh, restaurants different things like that so you just kind of have to decide kind of where you want to go so you want to find your location um, and then what kind of establishments that you want to go to so what I usually do at that point is get it in my mind where I want to go then I go to Google and I will put in salons in whatever city and that will bring up a whole list of stuff and um, so then what I do is I kind of just map out my look my my drive and stuff and I figure out where I want to go and how how far of a radius I want to go um, my boxes the furthest one I have from my home is 25 miles the furthest I want to drive is 45 so I put it in at no further than 25 because because more than likely you're not going to get a lot of people coming any further than a 20 mile radius to visit that place because more than likely they have another place near their home that they could go to kind of thing so just kind of decide how far you want to go um, and that's kind of what I do before I even get started um, so once I have my list in hand I have the name of the um, place the business that I want to go to I have the address and everything and then I take my boxes um, and what I do basically is um, to go I always want to look good um, so I always make sure that you know my makeup is done um, that I I do wear jeans um, but they're always a nice pair of jeans um, but I always put a nice top on with it um, and usually like a nice pair of shoes and stuff so you just you know a very nice business casual you look good kind of thing so you don't want to wear the ripped jeans or the tacky t-shirts or anything like that you want to look presentable because you are representing your own business um, so once I've got all that done I put ballot boxes in the car and I take off um, always make sure that you put down your beginning mileage when you're doing that because because you get to write off that trip too. Um, so then I just go from point to point. So basically what I do is when I go into um, the establishment, I have um, a little uh, beauty control bag. I think it's one of the chocolate bags and stuff that um, I put a ballot box in. I put a sample in there. I put a business card in there and stuff. And I walk into the, um, the place. Um, usually I'll ask to speak to the manager or the owner. And then I basically explain. I, when I see them, I always extend my hand to shake their hand. And I introduce myself, tell them that my name is Marsha and that I own a mobile spa business and I'm kind of new to the area and I was just wondering if you would possibly be able to help me out um, I have a ballot box here and what I would like to do is put this here in your establishment um, to be able to get business for myself and I'm also offering a $10 gift certificate back to your establishment so that these customers will come back and visit you also and so that's basically what I do um, you know I have people that say no 
I have people that say yes, and when you have yeses, you do your little happy dance once you get outside. Um, but when they say no, it's not a big deal because basically I think you get like one or ten no's for every yes or something like that. So, you know, it's it's not, you know, just never take it personal when somebody says um, no, no thanks. Um, it's like, it's okay because you know that you've got the next um establishment that you're going to on your list and you know you could have a whole day where you go through 15 places and everybody said no but that's okay don't get discouraged because the next day you're going to get that yes so you just want to be determined and know that you're going to get those out um i always kind of like pick some places as i'm out and about and stuff and i'm always one of those positive people that it's like hm, i'm going to get my ballot box in there and i sit there and i tell myself that for about two or three days and then i go back with the ballot box and i get it in so I think a lot of it is is that you have to be very um, uh, presentable. You have to um, just you know be very friendly with them. Be very excited. You want to show your excitement and your enthusiasm for your business because I think at that point they kind of say, oh well, you know that person is kind of like bubbly and we like that and yeah that would be a good fit. So um, you know just never take it personally when they say no. Um, and like I said, when you get one box in, you can go do your happy dance out in the uh, in the parking lot and stuff. Um, and it's just an awesome feeling. Basically, what I do once I get my ballot boxes placed, I make sure that I mark it on my list. Um, like I said, I have 12 boxes out there right now, so I have to keep track of where everything is. Um, but I also go back um, about every two to three weeks to check on them. If they're new boxes, don't. Don't be discouraged if it takes two to three weeks before you, if, and you only get one lead because a lot of times people when they're coming into that establishment they're not used to seeing that there and so they kind of just blow it off and then once they start repeatedly seeing it there then they're kind of like oh I gotta check this out kind of thing um, so you know I've had boxes in some places that you know generate like two leads in in a month you know so at that point then you might want to look at you know going some place else. I have other boxes that generate 20 leads in two weeks. So um, that's kind of what I do for my ballot boxes. So, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys are always um, welcome to give me a call or email me if you have any other questions. So um, uh, my, huh? <laughs> Sorry, okay. My email is spasbymarsha at gmail.com and my phone number is 440-574-1840. Um, so if you guys want to give me a call or email me with any questions or anything, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. So just have a good time when you take them out. Um, don't be afraid. Um, be very confident, very positive with your own self. Um, and I think that will really help people get more boxes out. So good luck, ladies. Have fun.